Hey guys, this is Imi Chicken from Team Pandori, and today we have a box from China. So the nice guys at SQ Arcade saw our review of the mini trackball and decided to send us a full-sized one with triple the sensitivity. As always, we will not let this affect our review. So let's get to it. Kapow! All right, so this is the mount. And apparently this is a sample version, so it's full of scratches. Yay me. Inside we have a very professional looking product. The pure size of it dwarfs the miniature trackball we had in before. And it is quite heavy. No instructions came with it, leaving much guesswork. But at least we get a mounting plate. It hides everything but the ball itself. And the underlying pins secure it. So no shaking when you roll her around. Input is taken from the trackball encoder wheels for vertical and horizontal movement. There's a slight bit of wonk on this cog. Perfectionists, take note. It comes with a wire harness. There are two sets of three inputs, one for the LED. These are for 4.8mm switches. The other two connectors are for arcade boards. One is for the 60 in one and the other is for the ELF. We have neither of these boards, so our review will focus primarily on the USB input. This means it'll be good on a Raspberry Pi 3, 4, RetroPie, the mini PC we had earlier, on Batocera, Windows, Super Console X with MULEC. Remember that also includes our mob, the Maker Box. For this video, we're going to be mostly testing on the Pandora Box DX. Either the JAMA or Family Edition work. I found that plugging up to the port labelled trackball didn't work, so we needed to use the other one on the top here. Let's get back to the trackball, and let's give her a roll. Bit messy. Want to see a magic trick? Oh Yay! yes! Yay! Yes please! Magic. For the size comparison, we will use a tape measure. This trackball is approximately four tape measures big. Alright, let's use it this time. Width and length, 14 centimeters. Height, 7 centimeters. And a full-sized 3-inch arcade ball. Let's measure the mount. Boop. Beep. Blop. How to mount this on a candy? Answer, I don't. This will be easier to attach to a wooden cabinet, but I'm going to make a controller box. And we are complete. When plugging up, eye pain. The flickery lights are just intense. We can change LED mode by pushing our button, but we can't save the default mode. So whenever we turn it on, we get Blackpool Illuminations. Now time for some gameplay. Get a centipede. Crystal castles. This product seems to have a similar issue to the last trackball we had on the channel. Check how much I roll the ball compared to the movement on the screen. Millipede. Rampart.
So the next few games were added by myself. As it's stock, there is no trackball support. So here's Marble Madness. And Missile Command. This is using my altered config from our last mini trackball video. Arkanoid. Ark not Arkanoid. All right, let's try another system. I've got the Super Console X here with Tempest, and the movement still seems slow. So let's go into the main menu. Increase the speed from 20 to 50. Night and day. Switching over to the MUB, we have Sega Sonic, slow as a snail. After changing settings in MAME, much better. Here's hey, Duck Hunt on the Nintendo. The speed is actually quite, quite reasonable. But moving on to Amiga, yeah, all is slow again. Changing speed from 100% to 200. Yep. Loads better. Here's Sam and Max hit the road in Scum VM. And extremely slow again. This is insane. Scum VM, we cannot actually speed up the mouse. So, mm, yeah, unplayable. What are the differences between this and the Mini? Well, the one on the left can roll for days. It seems to be made specifically for arcade games, whereas the Mini feels more precise, like one would have in a computer for general use. The one on the left does feel more rugged, solid, and durable, but we were told that this one is actually three times more sensitive than the Mini. Uh, I'm not convinced. Let's compare. Okay, let's get to the pros and the cons. This trackball has a wide array of inputs, giving high compatibility over many systems. We have an arcade-sized 3-inch ball here, built like a tank. Unfortunately, it's just way too slow. We didn't check the L for 60 and 1 outputs, but on the USB, we need at least double the speed to make anything playable. No manual means much guesswork. Even a simple guide would have helped tremendously with setting up the buttons. The LED flickering as default is horrible. A way to save the default mode is definitely welcomed. The target audience is certainly for the arcade enthusiast, and as there is little competition in the realm of arcade trackballs, we wish that SQ Arcade can fix the issues that this has to create something truly amazing. As always, affiliate links are in the video description, and even if you don't need a trackball, SQ Arcade have many interesting items for sale. Check this, a cup noodle vending machine, or even an Outrun kit. Mmm, Outrun. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe. This has been Amy Chicken, and I hope you have a nice evening. Nighty night. Hey guys.